You know, with the recent hype around Fortnite's World Cup, we've seen the rise of many young superstars. The infamous Stompy, Dubs, and the lightning fast Bug Hub. These are guys that were not even in the Fortnite community's radar and are now potential millionaires? Wow. And one of those guys is MSF Clicks. This newcomer grabbed the spotlight when he qualified for the World Cup five times in a row. Did you just hear what I said five times in a row? That's crazy. Just look at this hype tweet presenting himself as the champion. We know he's more than capable of showing what he's got in the top tier lobbies, but is there something more interesting than that to clicks? What really makes him so good? And he's potentially one of the best players in the world? Well, we're here to find out if that's the case. Also, I got some good news, guys. We're giving out 4,000 V-Bucks. Wow. Anyone subscribed to our channel has a shot at this. All you gotta do is write pro guys in the comments down below. And speaking of pro guys, see what I did there? Yeah, check out Instapro to play with some of the top coaches in the game. And soon you could be one of the next Fortnite stars. Easy. All right, guys, this is Keith Allen. Let's take a look at some clips of our boy Clicks. Okay, okay, so for our first clip, we have Clicks absolutely popping off, showing what he's made of in the finale of the World Cup qualifiers. He turns a game that has seemingly looked impossible into a win. Starting with 10 health, we're gonna learn how to use shadow bombs and how to improvise in certain situations just like Clix. Clix is scoring the battlefield. I mean, he doesn't even mind that he's low on health. He's just looking for the right move. As he notices the storm rotate towards him, he pops a shadow bomb and it's off. Don't forget that he's really low on health. I mean, one shot and he's done for. He manages to land himself a spot that isn't contested. This is pretty wise considering he doesn't have much to work with. So he sits down, waiting for the right opportunity. Take notice when Clix uses the shadow bomb, he does so behind cover. There's a small one second delay before it takes effect. During the interval, you can get shot. Yikes, what a predicament to get into. Just remember guys, hey, when you get into a sticky situation, be confident, just like Clix was. He nailed this guy in the head even while on 10 health. Wow. As Clix heals up, he places himself in a protective pyramid, smart. This is one of the best ways to protect yourself while inside a one by one, especially while healing up. He manages to recover and watch how Clix doesn't go for any shots. Why, you may ask. Clix knows the circle is far out and without early rotation, he can get caught in a fight and wind up dead. Again, we see another instance of Clix utilizing the shadow bomb in a clever way. Before he pops it, <laughs> he makes sure to open the door. But hold on, check out what an unlucky break Clix gets here. As he rotates the zone, he gets trapped inside of a box with another player. <laughs> He could easily decide to take the fight, but instead he's able to find his way out. Now we see the real talent come into action. Check out this crazy 200 IQ play. Clix uses the boogie bomb to force out his enemies from their ballers. No more free rotations. Clix, unlike many others, isn't worried about kills. He wants to get into the zone. He makes his way towards zone right. Here we see fluency again at his highest level. He makes a pathway before popping off a shadow bomb. Using it out in the open is not optimal because you can get shot. Take the extra second and save you the headache. Clix finds the opportunity and Boogie bombs yet another enemy out of a baller. Then he nails him with some sick shotgun shots. Whew. This is getting way too easy for this guy. Clix went from 10 health, a shotgun, and an AR to a full loadout with three jump pads. Wow, this looks like a huge turnaround for the better. These shadow bombs give this guy free rotations every time. Almost every good player is gonna pick them up when you come across them. Start using them. Clix makes a fatal mistake here and accidentally boogie bombs himself. He miscalculated his aim and he hits the wall. He could have easily died right here. However, Clix uses his own buildings as cover to shield himself from damage, making sure to reset his wall before proceeding. You know, sometimes being fast has its disadvantages. Clix tried to pull a fast one here and he messed up. That could have cost him the game. You know, another benefit of shadow bombs is that you can bounce off of walls and gain a significant height advantage. Clix shows us how it's properly done. A big part of being a top player is thoroughly knowing the game and its items and understanding what the items can be used for. Here's another instance of Clicks winding up inside somebody's one by one. Luckily, he's always ahead of the game and he takes his enemy out with that shot. This is the moment Click seals his fate. He sees his opportunity and he seizes the high ground. This technique is known as the scissor ramp retake. It's a high skill move used by a lot of pros. After taking the high ground, he's making sure he doesn't lose it. It's one thing to take the high ground and it's another to keep it. A few techniques to keep high ground should be placing traps on your floors or just shoot widely. You know, most of the time when somebody in the air takes damage, they'll just dive underneath you. And just like that, he claims kill number eight. Clicks is not messing around with these enemies, know that. Now, if you watch the way Clix plays out this last part, it's quite peculiar. He seems to win through attrition rather than going for kills. 
He doesn't jump down on the enemies below, instead he waits for the right moment. Making the right decision is often more important than being more mechanically skilled. This is a concept that can often be overlooked. Clicks, he's waiting for the right moment, gatekeeping high ground. This is a sick way to block off high ground. Whew. Right as the enemy goes for the high ground, Click places pyramids all around. He then goes for a couple of Tifu classics and lands some punishing damage. Now we get to the part we've all been waiting for, the one versus one. With Clicks on high ground, the opponent is in a tough run. Clicks goes in for some chip shots, trying to nail him. He hits his opponent with the one-on-one -on -one and he decides to flex on him. This is what you do when you reach this level. Some of you guys are probably wondering what just happened. Clicks wanted to do enough damage to his opponent that he would have the health advantage and the storm would kill his enemy. Chances were his enemy might have been lower. So there are a few things that we learned from Clicks' play here. Number one, Clicks showed us exactly how to use shadow bombs. Whew. He displayed patience, excellent timing, and great rotation, all with 10 health. Wow. Watch how he does it. Practice it yourself, and you too can become like Clicks. Number two, we witnessed high level rotations and boogie bomb plays, as well as Clicks being on his toes when he got into sticky situations. Fortnite is an open sandbox, and there are literally endless ways you can win a game. A little bit of creativity goes a long way. Number three, sometimes you don't have to jump down on someone to take the dub. Fortnite is about winning. Okay, winning the game, no matter what. And in various situations, it isn't wise to just W key. Clicks let half the lobby die underneath him while he remained on the high ground. Whew. And he used strategy to carve out the victory. Let's take a look at yet another incredible clip by Clicks. This time, he's stacked. He's got all the essentials he needs to win, but that still doesn't mean he's guaranteed to get a victory royale here. What will get him there is high level awareness, improvising, and ripped essentials. Let's find out how he closes out this lobby. Clicks finds himself in a very fortunate spot. Okay, he's got an insane loadout with all possible items you could want. He has rips, jump pads, golden weapons, and more importantly, a rocket launcher. Oof. He rips because he knows this situation will not be easy. Just taking a look below him, I'd hate to be in this situation. Side note, rifts and jump pads make excellent material savers. Another reason why Clicks decided to rift instead of launch padding is that using a launch pad, he wouldn't get high enough to traverse the mountain. He's kind of hoping nobody starts spraying him, but with this kind of rotation, he knows he's safe. Oh no, Clicks misses the mountain and he's forced to swerve off. This is where high level improvising comes into play. Let's think about this for a second. Okay, in this kind of situation, we can either get bothered or angry that we missed our picture perfect play, or we can say, oh well, let's try something else. Two completely different mindsets with mutually exclusive outcomes. He lands on top of a tunnel system and he waits for the stars to align to make big plays. Clicks isn't worried about the circle because he's got plenty of materials and items to rotate. He keeps his dream alive by using the launch pad. However, uh-oh, he runs into a bit of trouble and is forced to use his last one. He notices the circles rotating in reverse and he goes in for a safe landing. He's actually very fortunate he isn't getting focused here. Clicks uses terrain and structures while gliding down to go unnoticed. As he lands, his priority one is to make sure he's fully aware of what's going on. In these late game circles, man, things get hasty, hectic, and monstrous. People fly out of anywhere, go for wall replaces, and some beastly moves. Many pro players often complain about bad sound audio in Fortnite. That's why Clicks makes sure to not rely on his hearing. He rotates in again without being noticed. He sees an opportunity to destroy a launch pad and he goes for it. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. Much of late game strategy is more about forcing your opponents to waste materials and rotational items. Finding some way to outplay, outbuild, to outsmart them is the absolute hallmark of a good strategy. Now this moment guys is pure game sense. Clicks took an estimate whether or not his opponent would come out of there and he ends up being right. After he hits the guy with an RPG, he knows he's low. So he goes full on Terminator. W King like this seems like a good idea, but Clicks could have got lasered from above. That's why you see him back up towards his box. So after claiming his kill, he decides to back off instead of going for the mats. Click spots a greedy fella going for the loot and pops him. This gets Click's kill number seven. Now he has double the loot. Let the other guy clean the trap up while you come and take the glory. Clicks is then quick to respond with the rip to go. I love to have as many rips as he has for real. Clicks, this guy has the best position right now. He has the high ground, a rocket launcher, and ton of mats. He can easily just land top and rain down from above. He has the firepower to win this game, so let's see if he can do it. Check out this crazy power play. Oof. As soon as he lands, he blocks the enemy off with stairs and is sure to claim the high ground. He's in full-fledged build fight and he's now resting until he secures it. You can see his enemy try to fight back and to no avail. This is Clicks' kingdom and nobody's taking over. 
After his enemy sees he's not dethroning clicks, he gives up. Notice how he's really quick to shoot and place pyramids to prevent the enemy from taking the high ground. Another challenger appears, and clicks is sure to crush his motivation with a simple cone. Right as Clicks falls, he's sure to catch himself. Many times you do get shot down and it's up to you to catch yourself. Watch Clicks play the storm so well. While many people don't even want to take one tick, he's okay to have a tick him because he knows he won't take damage that way. His goal is now in the open. All he needs to do is maintain the high ground and rain destruction from above. Remember guys, place your cones in floors. You don't want to get shot down. Clicks does this as second nature. This enemy doesn't have a chance. He's stuck on the low ground against a rocket launcher. The circle's in Click's favor too. I don't know if Click's meant to do this, but he turned it into a 200 IQ play. He unintentionally knocked the enemy down the hill and keeps shooting, and there it is. I love how hype he is after this win. Okay, Click's easily had the best loadout, but many times does this even guarantee the win? Professional players know how to utilize every situation to their advantage, including having a bad loadout. Low health even, I mean, like we saw in this previous clip. On the bright side, we do have a few takeaways for you guys. Number one, Clicks hit a couple of roadblocks along the way. Okay, we saw that, but he turned the situation around in mere seconds. Number two, Clicks had a lot of utility, and if he waited too long, he actually could have wound up unable to use it. He uses the rips when he needs to do it, and he has no qualms doing so. And number three, high level lobbies are easily the most frustrating. People are rampaging around everywhere, and if you aren't on your toes, then you're gonna be one step away from the lobby. MSF Clicks by far is one of the best pros out there. Does he literally have the potential to become a millionaire after the World Cup? Hmm. There are so many things to be learned from the pros. So what do you guys think? Is Clicks possibly the best player in the world? I mean, we just saw how he's clearly on the same level as Mongrel, Bugga, and other top players. Hey guys, let us know who you're rooting for next and we'll be sure to deliver. I really hope you guys learned something from this video and please remember, you could be just like this with some practice. So get there guys, you can do it. I believe in you, we believe in you. Pro Guides believes in you. So keep practicing, keep going for it. You got this. And once again, this is Keith Allen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, let's connect on my Instagram and uh, we'll see you soon.